Today we're going to be talking about one of the greatest off the beaten track travel vloggers on YouTube. One of the first travel vloggers I started watching was a guy known as Harold Balder, and seeing his videos filming countries and areas most on YouTube haven't shown has been really cool to see. A traveler that goes off the beaten track and travel to places mostly unknown and share interesting stories that happen there. Obtaining a total of 243 million views and 1.8 million subscribers and entertaining many with his travel vlogs of exploration in foreign lands. With his first public video out on July 5th, 2016, titled Pyotr's House, Ukraine, with over 140,000 views, sparking the birth to the channel in which it showcased his love for traveling to places mostly unknown, along with him donating money to Pyotr to help with his gym, and it's still entertaining to see even today. He continued to upload videos showing countries mostly unknown and traveled to by the West. His videos are still timeless, and you can tell that many others were inspired by his travels, including his friend Bald and Bankrupt. Harold has an unedited video style where he interacts with the local people and even occasionally will donate to them. With over 258 videos, Harold Balder is a staple of off the beaten track travel exploration, traveling to many places in Europe, South America, and even Asia. Like many of us, we love to see his epic vlogs and adventures, but do we really know who he is? Let's see where it all started and who is Harold Balder. There's not much known about his life, but this is what I could find. Harold Balder's first name is Jens, and he's from Norway, and he studied at a university in Australia. He had around a $100,000 student loan, in which he used to live frugally in Australia. After graduating, he then went to work with his friend in web development, and he said that this was quite a lucrative business at the time, as WordPress and other website hosting sites were not created yet. And eventually, he started teaching economics in two different universities. He taught in Australia, and then eventually in Thailand. And then he grew tired of teaching and decided to travel around the world starting in 2001. After returning from this trip, he decided that he wanted to hit the road again, and this time on camera to show people a different side of traveling, and he wanted to do this full time. He said in other interviews that he resigned from Norway and uses all offshore investing in bank accounts. And due to this, he said he doesn't have to pay a capital gains tax and other taxes that Norway would want to take. And with the popularization of travel vlogging in the 2010s, he was able to start growing on YouTube. Eventually, he continued uploading videos until his video he uploaded in March of 2019 titled $25 Vietnam Capsule Hotel went viral, which gained over 16 million views, showcasing a futuristic capsule hotel with the locals. And he started making videos with his friend Benjamin, also known as Bald and Bankrupt. And and this even inspired Ben to make similar vlogs to Harold. And they even both use the same camera, the Sony FDR-X3000, which is a really underrated action camera, and I've used it before when I vlogged in Poland. What's interesting to me about Harold is that he's not flashy like most YouTubers. His descriptions are short, and he doesn't tell people to like and subscribe. He doesn't have a YouTube cookie cutter vlog style, and he really ended up making his own style of travel vlogs, which many now use. In a world of YouTubers trying to get the best edits and having content designed for people with zero attention span, Harold's content is a breath of fresh air. Harold is known for showing a part of life most people don't get to see, and us as the viewer get to see this through his point of view, and ultimately, we feel like we're there too. He's continued to upload videos and has steadily grown on the platform. Did you learn something new, or maybe you want to share your favorite story from Harold? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching.